reflection of the light is the phenomena of the light coming back into the same media after striking a boundary that is separating the two media. Welcome. We are now talking about reflection of the light. Say, when we are talking about reflection and refraction, first of all, we are going to assume that light is going to travel like a straight line. So, let us imagine this is a boundary separating the two media. This is a light striking this boundary. We can call this light as incident light. This light is called something like a incident light. It strikes the boundary somewhere. The point where it strikes the boundary is called something like a point of incidence. It is called a point of incidence. If I draw a perpendicular line passing through the point of incidence like this, if I draw a perpendicular line passing through this, this is called something like normal. Now the light ray if it strikes back to the same medium, comes back to the same medium, then this property light coming back into the same medium is called something like a reflection of the light. This light is called something like reflected light. So, the phenomena of the light coming back into the same media after striking a boundary that is separating the two media is called something like reflection. The angle between incident ray and the normal is called something like angle of incidence. And the angle between normal and the reflected light ray is called something like angle of refraction. So, there are the rules, laws of reflection. Laws of reflection are simple. There are two laws. The first law tells you that uh, the incident ray, comma the reflected light ray and the normal all lies in the same plane. Incident ray, reflected ray and the normal all lies in the same plane. That means they are all going to exist in the same plane. And it is further identified that angle of incidence equal to angle of reflection. They are nowhere different. They are nothing but a same. These rules are called something like rules of reflection. Now, I would like to know how much the light ray has got deviated. Look at this incident light ray. This is the incident light ray. If there is not, it is not striking a boundary separating the two media, it could have gone further like this. But it has gone like this. It is supposed to go in the pink line that I have drawn, but it has gone in the yellow line. So, the angle between these two could be called something like a angle of deviation. It is deviated by this much angle of deviation. I would like to calculate what is the value of that angle of deviation is. It is very clear that this total angle is nothing but 180 degree. So, I would like to say angle of deviation d is nothing but equal to 180 degree total value minus angle of incidence plus angle of reflection. But as per the loss of reflection, angle of incidence and angle of reflection are equal. So, I can write it either uh, as 180 minus 2i or I, not, I can also write it like 180 minus 2r. So, the phenomena of the light coming back into the same media after striking a boundary that is separating the two media is called something like reflection. Now, how does this light ray is going to be reflected is of two types called something like if the surface is a regular surface say like this if the surface is the regular surface. And the other possibility is if the surface is not a regular surface, but it is a irregular surface, but it is a irregular surface. Suppose if the surface is a regular surface, if the light incidence from an object somewhere, there is an object, assume there is an object, then the light incidence from the object strike the regular surface and it reflects back. Suppose, if the light is 
is generating from the other part of the object that also follows the same rule. So, the image that whatever we are going to see is nothing but the image of the object itself. But say for example, if the surface is a regular surface, what happens is this light ray after reflection might be going like this. Some another light ray who is uh, striking like this because of the irregularity of the surface it might be going in the other direction. So, though here we are having an object we may not be able to see the object rather we are able to see the wall that what it is striking therefore, but anyway both of them follows the rules what is the rules is the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lies in the same plane and angle of incidence is nothing but equal to the angle of reflection. We will be further talking in the next lesson that uh, how much is this uh, deviation we have already calculated 180 minus 2 y. How does an image is formed in the case of a reflection of the light? Reflection of the light can be done in two parts like reflection of the light at a plane surface and the reflection of the light at a curved surface. Initially we will start talking about uh, reflection of the light at a plane surface right. We will be continuing this discussion further in the next video lesson right. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in right. Okay.